So my name is Mark Barden. I'm a research director at CNRS in Paris. And my lab is interested in modeling of molecules. And we were trying to extend that to make this more, more understandable for people and more hands-on. And so we started to use a game engine for that purpose. We entered the iGamer 2014 competition with Unity Mall, which is a kind of game development kit for everything that might touch molecules, interaction with molecules, and also physical simulations of molecules. So the features of Unity Mall are that you can visualize molecules in many different ways. You can put uh, artistic lighting and, and textures on there to make them look very real and add some properties to them. Uh, you have also special abstractions that simplify complex molecules so that you can better see their underlying structure. And then you can manipulate those. We have different devices to manipulate them. Uh, devices just for navigation, to turn the scene, the camera around, like the leap motion, where you just use your hands to reposition. Or more sophisticated devices like haptic arms, with which you have a sort of 3D joystick where you position an avatar in the scene in 3D and then the avatar can also let you feel some force feedback in your hand that will tell you how easy or how difficult it is to make a molecule move at some point. The possible uses of Unity Mall are quite open. We come from the research background and we used it for research projects, uh, for rapid prototyping of ideas, testing and implementing some applications that you can give to your fellow scientists to try them out. But there are also applications in gamification. Uh, there are possible applications in crowdsourcing. Uh, we have been thinking a lot about using them in teaching and actually started to use them in classes and hopefully we we'll put them in the context of a MOOC where people can download it and then uh, try and complete a, a task and get evaluated on that. Uh, and also a lot for outreach and telling people how beautiful molecules are, what their shapes are and what their properties look like.